Hi, this is Bull 1975 and welcome to Elite Dangerous on the Legacy version on Xbox. Now, oddly, if there's one squadron I get asked about more than any other in this game, it is IED. Which is ironic, because I've never flown for IED. Um, but I always get asked about them, and I will try and make this not a dumpster fire. Um, I will try and be fair and impartial, though that is going to be difficult given the squadron I'm talking about. But IED have now moved away almost completely from the Xbox version of the game, which is something I find a wee bit disappointing considering um, you know, what their mantra, their remit, what their you know, aim was, what they got up to in game. And it surprises me that they've abandoned the few players that they have left over here. Um, and in fact, even came on... Um, Garrix actually came on Xbox specifically to kick one of the players that was left uh, because he wanted powers to recruit for Xbox and they wouldn't let him have them. Um, and they ended up kicking him and blocking him, which is remarkably um, weird. Uh, I think it's because they realise they don't have the numbers on Xbox anymore to effectively run the BGS and the power play, so they've given that up so they can concentrate on the... Uh, live version of BGS and Powerplay, which is understandable. I completely get it. You all can't be in two places at once. And um, yeah, it's much easier to run on PC. Also, a lot of their higher, a lot of their commanders left anyway. They may have won the IED 7th Legion War, or at least declared themselves the victors, uh, but then they collapsed like a flan in a cupboard. And uh, yeah, it was in, it was a really weird situation where like literally overnight they just vanished and were pretty much useless. The only person I'm aware of that's still on the Xbox game now that's on the PVPs would be Ogrim, and I very rarely see him. Um, I've, I, like, I've seen him twice since uh, since IED primarily went over to PC, and I I don't think IED is even aware that he's left behind. Um, I do occasionally see clips of people in IED getting killed, and there are obviously still IED commanders out there. But on the whole, they've turned their back on Xbox and completely and utterly abandoned those commanders and those they protect. Now, Paul of War started the squadron with noble and lofty ambitions to be the protectors of the sheep. Uh, protectors of the weak against gankers and for a long time they were like that but slowly over time they moved their goalposts and moved their goalposts and eventually they became the gankers of the gankers and then pretty much the worst scum on the game they would threaten everyone's bgs just basically bully people into submission uh, if you criticize them they would spread lies and hate about you uh, they were an embarrassment towards the end um, and it was quite shameful i'm not surprised there was a schism in their ranks and the pvp has left um, it, it, it was quite embarrassing, uh, you know, they, they lied about doxing scandals, they lied about death threats, they made out that people were making stories up, um, they were making out that people were toxic and had an axe grind at any criticism of them, or, or even just saying what their, their own rules were, uh, was seen as criticism. Um, they never backed up any, any of their claims with evidence. And eventually, you know, they went over to PC to spread their love and joy over there. Um, to say they are like Spear would be an understatement. It is no surprise that in recent videos of, of a Cumus channel I have seen members of IED flying with him or ex-members of IED flying with him. I'm not surprised. Talk about cut from the same cloth. Anyway, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Catch you in the next one.